Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for EffectSeed79.com and uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use uh, FaceTime over 3G on your iPhone 4s. Um, so it's pretty awesome because uh, Apple has not allowed us to do this and uh, it's been a bit of a pain in the butt. As you can see I have an iPod, not an iPhone, so uh, I wouldn't be able to do it anyways but I wanted to definitely show you guys because I know a lot of you guys would benefit from it. Um, so if you're not jailbroken yet, I suggest you go over to my site, design.effectseed79.com. It's in the sub bar. Um, I have a cool little article on why you should jailbreak. Um, it's definitely pretty much a necessity these days um, on the iPhone. Um, so if you're not, you need to, um, especially for this tutorial. If you are, just open up Cydia for me. Uh, Rock is fine, but I'm using Cydia for the simple fact that uh, you don't have to have an account for stuff, which annoys me. Um, and Rock is a little bit glitchy. So, um, you're going to go to search and you're going to find a program called My3G. It's a little bit blurry, um, but you guys should be able to find it easily. Um, it should show up with a few other themes. Um, the first two you see are themes. They say next to them, themes, themes, and then My3G is system. It has a little finder icon next to it, so that's the one you want. Don't get any themes because that will just mess you up. Um, we're going to go up here to install. And then it's going to bring up a uh, confirm scene, uh, a screen, and then you're going to confirm it, and you're going to start installing it. Um, I do believe it installs an icon to your desktop. If not, it installs to settings or whatever. Um, but you should be able to open it up and select the um, uh, 3G to Wi-Fi mode, and then you can use FaceTime over Wi-Fi, which is awesome. Um, I hope you guys uh, have benefited from this tutorial. If you have, uh, please support by subscribing and also leaving some comments down below. If you feel the need, check out my website. It's effectsd79.com. You're going to need to restart the springboard. Um, and also, I just redesigned that site, and it looks pretty darn good if I don't say that. So, ah, I just totally missed that up. Um, it looks pretty darn good if I don't say so myself. Um, uh, I got rid of all that other crap that was around it that made it look terrible. Um, so now it's pretty sleek. Uh, I got rid of the ads also. So um, <clears throat> for sure, if you want to check that out, uh, please support. And uh, now that we've restarted the springboard here, you'll see another icon, another icon, um, my 3G. So open that up. And like I said, it does install to your springboard. Okay, so this is a trial license. Alright, so we're going to hit exit. <clears throat> and what it did is download a trial license to the phone. So we're going to wait for it to uh, restart real quick. And um, I'm holding it this way so I can actually hold it and slide and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to keep it up straight for you guys. Okay, so now we're in the trial mode. Um, you do have to buy it if you want to um, uh, use it fully, but it's not a huge price and uh, I believe it's only like 20 bucks, so it's really worth it. Um, you know, instead of having to run to find a Wi-Fi spot. Anyways, um, once you're in the app, all you want to do is scroll down and find FaceTime. Just tap on it once to select it, and then you'll be good to go. Um, so that basically enables my 3G to run on that app. And once you're doing that, you'll be able to use 3G on FaceTime. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next tutorial. Peace.